Welcome. Please introduce yourself. Good day. Uh, my name is Ntombi Zoni Feni. I'm a 21st century. I'm the executive director. I commercially head up our change management and organizational design practices. I also form part of, of a team of um, passionate internal and external individuals that manage 21st Century Foundation. How can organizations effectively manage change in a rapidly evolving external environment? I think when we talk organizations, we have to be conscious that we're referring to an ecosystem that's made up of different stakeholders. So for a multinational um, that talks to the different global players and stakeholders and the regional um, offices that the people occupy, it talks to boards, it talks to leadership at various uh, management levels, it talks to labor unions and um, employees, it also talks to customers, clients and, and partners. So facilitating change management in an ever-changing external environment requires organizations to know who their stakeholders are, what their stake is in the change, um, the nature of interest that they hold in, in the change so that the change can be facilitated based on that. Um, also at a human level, it's worth investing in the understanding that the only thing constant in life is change. So from a psychological point of view, just training people to be um, conscious of the fact that change is constant and that it happens at a human level first. So that's where a lot of training uh, investment can go into as well. How can organizations manage the integration of Generation Z into the workforce, particularly concerning technology, culture and work-life balance? Yes, so um, Generation Z are not the first new young generation to enter the world of work. Um, it was still the case in a big buzz with millennials as well. So the, the most important thing here is, to, is for organizations to invest in building and encouraging effective teams that are diverse and made up of not just different generations, but people from different socializations and cultural backgrounds. Um, and yes, it is quite a new change uh, in the workplace that comes with Generation Z and Millennials to want more of a work-life balance and more flexibility. So a lot of organizations are responding to that in terms of their policies and the organizational culture, which is a, a good development as long as there's the required leadership capability to, to manage um, that transformation. And how can organizations balance the triple bottom line of people, planet and profit in the context of change management? Yes, I think since the advent of uh, ESG and talks about that um, around the world, um, for me it's about the consciousness of organizations knowing who they are, the purpose, the reason for existence, um, not just as uh, entities that are there to generate profit and create and sell products or services, but as holistic entities that are conscious of their social impact, um, the products and services that they provide, how they affect communities and people, um, and also balancing the, uh, the impact on the environment, whether it's the physical environment, um, or the social context. So it's about a holistic view and consciousness of who the organization is and how they impact society in the world.